<laughs> Welcome back to Terror Select. Dave and Tyler back for more World of Horror. World of Horror. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. You and I have played this game yeah. a lot. Yeah. We've basically seen everything at this point. Well... Well, okay. We've seen a lot of it. Let me rephrase. Everything that we've unlocked, we've basically seen. Correct. So this is going to be the last recording session that we do for this game, unless and until they come out with new content. Kind of a big you, deal. You got But they do have new content, Ooh. which is Occult Capital of Japan. Spooky. Which changes ha the outcome of a lot of stories. Oh, no. So we will customize it. That sounds spooky. It's a little spooky. We haven't unlocked any of this shit. I know, you have to, like, actually beat the game to unlock stuff. And we've only beaten it one time. It's frustrating In all as hell. of the times that we've been playing this game, we have finished it once. Okay. So, here's how we're going to randomize this. Occult Capital of Japan is active. Good. Yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, we will go to... Who do we want to take for our, for our character? Well, who do we have? The same five. Well, I just... I can't... It's been a while since we yeah. recorded, so... So we've got Kirie, um, who is, uh, good with spells. Yeah. Uh, we've got Aiko, who's dexterous and fast. We've already used her. Yep. Yeah. We've got Haru, uh, who is strong, but has the problem that, uh... He's dumb. Well, he's dumb and also has a cigarette addiction, which, if you have cigarettes, it's great. If you don't have cigarettes, it's bad. So you have to spend money to get cigarettes. Yeah. With Mizuki, who is the idol. And, which we already used. Yeah, and Koji, who is good at seeing things, but terrible at dexterity. Hmm. Why don't we just go for broke and go with the camera guy? Okay. We'll we'll prove those people wrong. We'll we'll take the pictures of the spookies and you know, this'll be our big scoop. Endless mode, it's hopeless, you can't stop the older god the old gods. Alright, we're still gonna try and save the world though. Alright. So the old gods we, we still only have the same four. We've got uh can't run from combat, spider god. Who I think we defeated last time, right? No, last time we defeated Goiz or uh Ath Yol Yolaz <laughs> The Towering A. Uh, we could do Etho Etho two, which is terrible because you take you take and give twice as much damage. So if you can kill him in one round, you're great. If you can't, you're done. Well, I mean that just effectively halves the length of combat encounters as right. well. Also, wait a second. Go back. What? We didn't choose our- okay, the game has bugged out. Don't push Q on this screen, everybody. We didn't choose our difficulty, we were on normal. Normal is bad. Alright, hold on a second. Let's try that again. Dave bit up in chat, everyone. Don't, 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 don't fucking start with me. Christ. Alright, come back into the recording. Come on. There we go. New story. Uh, Occult Capital of Japan. Customize the playthrough. Continue. Random. Quarantine. Here we go. So, we could go on Skeptic, or we could go on Initiate. I think we should do it Initiate. Yeah, because Lord knows we need the help. Uh, we could also choose World of Horror background or Medical Horror background, but each damage can cause an injury. No, I mean... No. <laughs> uh, we this bullshit enough, we don't need to make it any harder. It's true. Okay. Alright, so who are we picking? Do we want to randomize? We can do that too. Let's just fucking randomize it. Can we not? Wow, we actually can't. 
Boo. Alright, well, how about... Uh, who do we got? This guy? No. <laughs> Casting spells cost reason, or instead of costing reason, cost doom instead. I mean, we did that guy already, so we can't do him. What about the spider guy? The spider guy? I can beat him for once. Okay. Check. Alright, no, sorry. Kithak Atarasu is once again awakening from its slumber. Actually, it has the name in uh, Katakana at the top up there. The Eternal Web? No, oh. Atorasu Nietzsche. So, it used to be called something else. It was still Atorasu something, but it, for some reason in uh, in the uh, in one of the updates they changed the name. I don't remember why. Well, yeah. They didn't update the, con the Japanese that matched them. Right. Also, hold on a second. You are, ca mm. are like choppy robot boy. Yeah, I know. Why? Because Final Fantasy was closing. It's still going. It just ended. Okay, there we go. Alright. City history. Oh, that's right! Choose up to two additional actions per location for this playthrough. So, uh, it out. so we can eat, if we don't want to have the police station, we can do the mm -hmm. vending machine instead. I gotta reconnect, Dave. Oh, sorry. Boop. Fancy. That's weird. You're double connected. You still connected? Uh, well, no. Yeah, I'm still connected. Okay. All right, what do we got? So we haven't unlocked too many of these, which is unfortunate, but there's up to four optional locations per location. Place. Right. So we never use the police station, so we could turn that off and instead get vending machines, which allows us to trade funds for items. I can dig it. So. But you can only do that at the start of a scenario. You can't do that uh, any other time. All right, let's see what we got here. We got an empty bottle, hooray! Hey, things are looking up already. Weird, nothing happens. It's a nice day outside. It's nice. You don't see anything There's weird. No spooky, yeah, no spooky people outside? No spooky people outside? It's true. Alright, so we should take a bath and fill up this bottle. Yep. Oh, and now then we got... Gamer Guy bath water. Mmm, Gamer Guy bath water is delicious. Uh, not storage. We want to go to wardrobe. Yep. Because. What do we got? Is there a there secret it is. secret? Inside the figurine, you find some money. One fund. Mm. <laughs> yes. Is that there this whole time? Yes. God damn it. Uh, so we've got reporter, Hawaii. Dora, Dora Cura, Dor Dracula. Dracula. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, junior salaryman or Chad. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! If Dor that was a character that was just gonna die straight up, I'd say go with the Chad. Well, we gotta go with. Dora I say Cura. go. Yeah, you go gotta go with Dracula. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, everybody, I have been looking at uh, some stuff on the wikis. Oh my god, did you... <laughs> fucking Dracula. <laughs> fucking Dracula. Doracura. So we've Dora got Cura. the alarming account of Abnormal Arms, uh, the macabre memoir of Morbid Mermaids. Which has a bunch more endings, it looks like. Violent, uh, Vicious verses of a violent vigil. Wait, do we have a bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin? That's the one we couldn't complete the first time we chained back to this game. Well, yeah. Because so, I think you fucked up something and we had to restart. It's entirely possible. If you can get Macabre Memoir of Mormid Mermaids and also the Blood Curling Brut of... The one where the guy turns into a fungus. Right. If you do the Mermaids one first and get the axe, which requires that you get ending A, and yeah. then go do the uh, Blood Curling Brut, 
yep. and keep the axe and make sure you have it equipped, that is the only way to get ending A. So if this doesn't spawn with that one, or vice versa, you can't get There's ending There's literally a. no way to get ending A. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so let's do this one. I can dig it. Technology is only developed further. Computer bulletin board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. All right, so even if the rumored bulletin boards, bulletin systems phone number is found, there's no hope to investigate without a computer that can connect to it. Maybe the school library has one that will work. Uh, so we need to investigate the forest location twice to complete this quest. Correct. Okay. Wait, do we, we want to... We need a, a yeah. So if we We're need going a, with strength. So we should go to the seaside and go to the hardware try that, store. Try and get that pipe. Un pipe. Monkey or ranch. Shovel. Oh, that's heavy. Crowbar, though. Crowbar. Got the shovel. It's very slow, and it has, doesn't have a good chance of hitting, but small chance of gaining funds after defeating an enemy. Wang him upside the head and coins fly out. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Oh, boy. Um, Alright, so it's crowbar then, right? Yeah, I think so. It's got a good chance to hit. It's pretty fast. Although that is... That one actually reduces your strength, which is frustrating. Yeah, so we gotta go with the 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 mount, the, the crowbar. Plus, it might let us like break stuff open if we have it. Yeah. Look at this forest. Petrified forest. Uh, drooping tree branches hang over the path, framing it in almost macabre way. It's almost inspiring. We're busy here. Get a grip. Quick your pace and leave the menacing path. One minus one reason. Sure, whatever. Wandering through the woods, you discover strange carvings in one of the trees, and by the look of them, they were made recently. Could they be connected with the current mystery? We could take a picture to analyze later, because we have a camera. Take the picture. Let's do it. Yeah. Uh, after searching the woods for some time, you discovered the body of a young student clutching a note. I want to write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationship. Shared death and that connection will not last you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you if you lose your resolve. Just listen to the voice of humanity. That's... Well, that's not creepy at all. Okay, so before we start investigating the school, let's go to the schoolyard. And get some peeps. Hopefully. They look fine. Uh, they look they look like heads. They look fine. They seem relaxed. Okay, so one of the other thing is uh, is if they look if they look fine, you can't recruit them. Right. But if you share a creepy story, they look nervous. You can recruit them. <laughs> it costs you oh, five God. experience. Immediately let go. Ugh. Well, that was a waste. Alright, how about you, dude? Uh, do you know any gossip? Okay. Plus one knowledge. Oh, nice. You. Minus one charisma. God damn it. You're out. Get out of here. There are well, there are advantages to having people in your group that you can sacrifice, <laughs> but none of them are worthwhile. Yeah, yeah, because that one mission where you have to sacrifice them. Mm -hmm. Hearing an eerie sound coming from behind the door, you decide to check it out. At first glance, the abandoned classroom seems empty. Once your eyes get used to the darkness, you discover an unusual sigil drawn on the floor. Judging by the smoke, someone put out the candles the moment you entered. Light the candles, <laughs> pick up the book, or study the writing on the blackboard. Do you see what that says? Karatu... Subarada Nik Niko. Which is close, but not quite. <laughs> Almost. Uh, I think this is knowledge-based. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, okay, you discovered these... Uh, we got a spell, but we lost two and two, and that's not great. Flesh regrowth. That sounds like it's great. Plus three stamina. No, that's minus not two. great. Well, minus two max stamina isn't that bad if we can use it at the right time. And it doesn't that's cost true. reason to use it. That is true. While the school's library computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. She apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thank you. You arranged to meet her at her home in the city. 
vending machine? We got three funds. Okay. Bottle of water, energy drink, plus one dexterity until the end of the current mystery, plus nope. two reason for three funds? That's not bad. I'm in energy. I'm gonna take that. That's fine. Yeah. Might as well. Come with Dorukiha. Dorukiha. <laughs> You're pleasantly surprised to meet your old friend while waiting for a train. She's undoubtedly changed a lot since you've last seen her. These days, she's moderating a web forum dedicated to paranormal. Maybe she knows something useful? Invite for coffee. You discover you can't afford a coffee. Oh, right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> oh, Forgot shit. Forgot that we, were, we just spent all of our money on a can of soda. Can you imagine if you lost the game on that? I can't pay for a cup of coffee. I can't pay for a cup of coffee! You freak out and have Your to go to Your mind fractures and Cthulhu <laughs> rises again. Jesus. Uh, you look at the cardboard box full of PC parts up to your up your apartment stairs. Teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. Goddamn, computers are heavy. In the 80s, computers are really heavy, too. I mean, they're still really heavy, depending on what you have. Like, if you get one of those things that's, like, all liquid-cooled and all that shit... Mm-hmm. Ugh. Uh, let think, him come up with his own stuff. I think if we share our experience, we get money. And if we don't share, get money, then we're going to get that event where we have to lose stamina, reason, or doom. Sure, let's do that. Oh, fuck. Dave. We are... We're not okay. having a good time here, Dave. It's true. You wipe the spread from your brows. You fin finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. Newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is ca beginning to catch on in uh, nearby other towns. You act quickly. I don't understand why you're, like, the, the savior of the universe here. Like, I, I just don't get it. Well... I don't know either. I think it's because it's, like, one of those don't-look-away things. Where everybody else is like, nah, it's not my problem. But you're like, I, it, I'm i making it my problem. I suppose. I guess. Uh, anyway. Loud knocking wakes you up in the middle of the night. Open up, shouts the deep voice from the other behind door. I know you're there. Yeah, call the cops. Well. Draws an unfamiliar symbol in blood in your front door, plus 3% doom. Well. Ugh. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff looks exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a moment, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Yeah, hospital. Someone has been branding the patients with the cult symbols. Assume well, we have no choice but to assume the worst. Jesus Christ. Yep. Over here, two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she's recovering at her grandparents' home in the village in the city outskirts. The this feels like a really long one. It does keep going. But I think the, the eel one is just as bad. Yeah. Ooh. This is the... Oh, I remember this. This guy's the D&D &D guy. We go see... We follow yeah, him, follow right? follow him. Right. Yeah. Minus 2% doom. Cool. See, D&D as... &D saves the world. <laughs> As you pull into the village bus stop, a new story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train, hand in hand. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin head searching down the village streets. Well, that's unfortunate. That's not good at all. And imagine the train driver... Damn it. ...having a bad day. So... Well, we didn't get those funds. Yeah, so we could either give him stamina, reason, or increase doom. Increasing doom increases it by like 5% too. So yeah, we bad. don't want to increase doom so let's give him stamina because that's the stuff we have the most of. Yeah. When you find the girl's house her pa grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, grandfather says she leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something's happened to her. Okay, cool. Thanks. Gotta love it. <laughs> the recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the bulletin's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the parents your phone number and hastily leave. This is going on a long time. Can you imagine if we had the the worldwide effect that makes Doom go up 2% whenever you're going to the village? Oh my god, that would be horrible. Ugh. 
Uh, you stumble on a forgotten bookstore in a small alley. The interior is cluttered with dusty old tomes, animal bones, weird vials, and stuffed exotic animals you don't even recognize. Can I, can I help you? I have things that will surely help you in your quest. So we could buy a spell, we'd run out of money. We can't buy a magic yeah. item. Or we can no, just... we're just looking. Alright, see ya. As you arrive home, you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. <laughs> fucking... Nice. Uh, your heart... <laughs> Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system Jim pumps. should Jim should play that modem noise in there. Welcome home. Do you like it? No, not really. It's okay. You don't have to be ready yet. Everyone will wait for you. Continue. Your connection suddenly cuts off. When you attempt to reconnect, you find that your number has been blocked from accessing the bulletin board. Dejected, you solemnly pack up the computer and give it back. However, when you ride back to the computer club, you find a note in the door. See you all soon. You soon learn that all members leapt in front of a train holding hands. With little other choice, you sell off the computer, the guilt weighing down on you all the while. Did we have to say yes to that? I don't know. The bulletin is moved out of desperation. Police begin confiscating modems and banning students from computers. Despite this, the suicides only seem to grow faster. They spread even further beyond Chiyokawa, too. Your guts twist into knots every time you pass by the computer club's door. Well, ending C means we got, like, the worst one. That's great. Yeah, I think we needed to, uh, say yes to that. Yup. Well. Oh, well. Oh... What? <sighs> Fetid fumes means act arrest is less effective. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Next we time. We really needed that. <laughs> Next time on Terror Select, we're gonna, you know, continue Keep on making strangling. terrible decisions. Fuck. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure to click that like button down below if you liked it. And Tyler. Dave. There's still hope. For now. For now. We have four more mysteries to do, and we're at 24% doom! Yeah, I mean, we can do it.